I knew this day would eventually come where I would actually be uh, not necessarily reviewing, but giving you a preview for a Stan original show. Yes, that's right. The wonderful Australian company Stan have started to develop original shows, and here is the first one, No Activity. No Activity is a 2015 comedy series created by the wonderful people at Jungle Boys HQ. Now, the show itself is a little bit difficult to explain, but you will catch on from it just from the first couple of minutes. Essentially, it's told through three very different lenses. The first, two cops on a stakeout. Secondly, the two girls in dispatch who are communicating with the two cops. And then finally, usually a pair of criminals who are either up to no good or kind of just wasting time waiting for a shipment. Now, I got to see the first two episodes in an exclusive screening. Uh, it was a couple weeks ago, actually, at the time of sort of uploading this. Um, but it was great. It was a really, really good uh, show, to say the least. Now, obviously, I haven't been paid to say any of this stuff. It was actually kind of nice that they invited me, that they sort of looked at me as like, oh, this guy kind of knows some stuff about the stream and stuff. I'm like, yeah, dude, I got a, I got a show on YouTube. Do you know how important that is? Not very. Uh, it's, it's kind of interesting... Uh, how the show sort of plays out. It kind of looks like something that maybe wouldn't be too weird to show, I don't know, at an 11 o'clock time slot, sort of back in the day for Channel 9 in the late 90s, early noughties, or possibly uh, on ABC, not necessarily prime time, like 8.30 and stuff like that, but what I'm saying is, like, it could have been on TV. But I think how the show plays out, to some people, it could basically just not feel like a sellable pitch. I, I think that what Jungle Boys have done in the past is kind of unconventional and very, very close to what web content is. It's very, it's usually uh, sort of succinct, very, very controlled, very sort of tight, uh, usually improv kind of sequences. If any, anybody who's seen Upper Middle Bogan or uh, previous uh, work from Jungle Boys, such as the Moody Christmas, they, they try to have these very collective sort of uh, comedy experiences, as it were, uh, to put it really, really wanky. But no, I saw the first two episodes of No Activity. Uh, it's really, really good. The whole cast is very, very strong. The conversations that they have, uh, uh, very humorous on par with, say, you know, Wretched Linkletter or even sort of uh, early Tarantino films. I, I think that, uh, that overall, that I, I think it's great. I watched the first two episodes uh, in sort of a very big screening and it kind of looked absolutely incredible on the big screen. Like, the, like no, they spared no expense, as it were, um, to sort of show us uh, these shows. And I think that it actually really works for the first show from Stan. It's, it's a strong series that could have worked as a web series, but given the right money and given the right people, it's turned out absolutely amazing. In fact, they kind of follow the Netflix format where the first episode's kind of established. It's a little bit of a, a taste or a treat. And if you like it, it's very sort of down to earth. It's very, very sort of enjoyable. Nothing sort of insane or wacky happens. But the second you get to the end of the first episode, you're like, yeah, okay, I could probably watch the second one. And the second one, not while it isn't necessarily linked to the first episode, it does have a few ties, has a few of the similar characters back. Uh, and also, uh, a little bit of a spoiler, has wonderful cameos by comedy darlings Tim Minchin and uh, re recent sort of award-winning uh, Sam Simmons. He's a uh, He's in there as a criminal. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic to see him get more TV work, especially after Problems. I, I kind of wish that show got a second season. Hey, Stan, pick 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 that shit off for a second season. Overall, I, I think the first two episodes that I, that I sort of watched were, were good. They were really good. Uh, I, I think the people really, really enjoy them. I know that by the end of the second episode, I was like, okay, no, I really want to watch more of these, which is the, the, that, that sort of Netflix feeling. It is, I know I, I, it's weird to talk about competitors when you're sort of talking about a Stan original show, but obviously that's kind of the model that they have to follow. That's, that's the little sort of like like little target that they have to sort of aim for and shoot for and I think for their first show they hit it on the mark they have something that is produced by people who know what they're doing they're sort of putting it out there as original content and I, I think it's going to be really enjoyable I think that for the content that the stand has and sort of the audience that they've gained so far I think it's going to do really well I hope it does really well because I I was clued into some of the stuff that they'll be releasing uh, in the next six or seven months and that is actually that's really exciting. I, I think that where Stan are now, I know it was initially sort of harsh in my uh, original review of them, um, but honestly, they've stepped up their game since then. I, I, what are we now? We're sort of nearly 10 months in. They launched on Australia Day of this year, and they're doing astoundingly well. They're sort of beating out Presto, which has a legacy company behind it. I mean, I know Nine and uh, sort of Fairfax are legacy companies as they were, but, but you know, having Foxtel behind you, you kind of expect a lot, but you know, they're kind of just going down this weirdly almost political attack ad route. Um, so overall, I think No Activity is amazing. The first two episodes that I saw, really, really good. Two out of six episodes, uh, they're going to be six episodes, they're going to drop them all at once, uh, and probably by the time that you're watching this, probably on stage already um so yeah so watch it I, I liked it i liked it a lot they're really really nice people at stan got to meet their pr agent and the content acquisitions guy he's doing a good job she's doing a good job look you've got you got what you wanted you got a guy with a mustache talking about your show 
Uh, I really hope it does well, and uh, you know, who knows, maybe there's gonna be a second season down the track. Um, but thank you so much for watching Harrison by the Stream. Do watch No Activity on Stan. I give it, you know, if I had to give it like an arbitrary number thing, like out of 10, uh, from the preview that I saw, 8 out of 10. I'll give it a full review down the track, or just check it out on, you know, check it. Follow me on Twitter. There's a little link down there, you can follow me on Twitter. Probably give my personal opinions on there. That's what Twitter is for. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Harrison by the Stream. Obviously, I've got a lot of content coming out right now, because I felt like I wasn't producing enough in September because I was busy with real life as it were um, but do keep watching thank you so much for watching Harrison on the stream don't forget to click subscribe down there that's what it's for uh, and do give us a like and share it out to some people and I hope you have an incredible day thank you for watching Harrison by the stream and doesn't offer this premium sound Shut the fuck up, you are not making things better for anybody.